people. I got a little rant I want to get off my chest. Um, I've been seeing videos, been seeing uh, some journalists, some people saying a lot of off the wall bullshit about the PlayStation Switch, whatever you call it. And of course, you got Stone Fraud Media, Stone Fox Media, whatever you want to call him. And he, that's that Sony dick rod. He rods Sony's dick. But at the same time, he never plays games. That's that's what's so interesting about his situation. He is such a fanboy of Sony, but like whenever somebody saw his trophies, they saw that he don't even play games. He loves Sony, but he don't play games. That's why he put his uh, PlayStation account on private so people don't see the fact that he doesn't even play games. But you got this idiot that's basically, not just him, other people talking about if the PlayStation come out with a Switch version, then it's over for Nintendo. <laughs> okay, so basically what you're telling me is, if Sony do a, you know, basically a two-in-one console, the exact same thing what Nintendo is doing, it's going to do a lot better than Nintendo because of the handheld version? Okay, buddy, you tell me this. When the last time has had Nintendo ever lost a generation uh, when it comes to their handhelds? Has anybody came close to beating Nintendo when it comes to their handhelds? The last uh, company I know that came, I don't even say close, they, 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 they was almost close, but they was never even close anyway. Uh, the PSP, it sold 80 million. But the Nintendo DS sold 150 million. 80 million, 150 million. That's the closest anybody ever came within reach when it comes to Nintendo's handhelds. Uh, Linux didn't do it. The Game Gear didn't do it, even though they had better tech. But at the same time, uh, you know, Nintendo's handheld has always been cheap, affordable. It always had games, games, games. At the end of the day, it's all about the games. This is why Nintendo is putting all their freaking developers in one household from the handheld to the console. So we won't have these issues no more. So a lot of us console guys won't get all pissed off because Nintendo is focusing slowly on their handhelds. Yes, we know that's their bread and butter. They make a lot of money. But since they're merging both companies, uh, both departments in one studio, then how the fuck can anybody compete with this? Can you take the PlayStation 4 on the go? Can you take the Xbox on the go? So come on, people. Just because Nintendo got a couple of failure of consoles does not mean that the Switch is going to fail. Everybody keep on looking at the console side of it, but they're not looking at the fact on how Nintendo is advertising this thing. I don't know how many times y'all done saw the commercial about the Switch. You get to take it on the bus. You get to take it on an airplane. You get to take it on the park. They is telling people that this is technically a new handheld that's coming out, but you can also put it on your TV. This is a two-in-one console. So who the fuck can compete with this? And it's $300. Another thing, people has basically been crying about a $300 price tag for the Switch. They, they looking at the, at the console side of it, but they're not looking at the handheld side. They're not looking at what made Nintendo so relevant in the gaming industry. It's their handhelds. But no, everybody will turn a blind eye on the, on the handheld version, but it is what it is, man. Like, these people, they're going to keep crying, bitching, and complaining, but at the end of the day, it's all about the games. Games, games, games. When, like I say, when was the last time anybody stepped close to Nintendo when it comes to the handhelds? So if Sony would come out with their PlayStation Switch, whatever you want to call it, so you tell me this. Are they going to have the same gaming library that what Nintendo has always had with their handhelds? Just look at the Vita. Look at the Vita. <laughs> like, come on, look at the Vita. Okay. If they, okay, another thing. How are they going to do the pricing? We already know that the Switch is almost, yes, we know it's underpowered to, uh, against the PlayStation. The PlayStation is 1.8 teraflops and the Switch is, is like one teraflop. So it's almost twice as powerful than the Switch. So how can they keep the pricing close to the Switch? How can they keep this at a $300 price tag? The Switch is $300 price. It's, it has a $300 price tag, but it's a two-in-one console. So if the PlayStation come out with a version of the Switch, how the fuck can they can they compete as far as price point? Because we know that the the tablet is going to be in 1080p. We know that the that the tablet is going to have 1.8 teraflops in there. I'm just being honest with you. So how in the hell can they put all that in one system, or I guess you could say a hybrid, and compete as far as 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 the price point? $300. It's not going to happen, people. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But if Sony will actually do it, 
I applaud them because Nintendo needs more competition when it comes to their handhelds. But y'all are the Sony dick riders out there thinking that Sony could compete with Nintendo when it comes to their handhelds. Y'all need to get the fuck out of here. And Stone Frog Media, go play your games before you start dick riding on Sony again. You don't play games, so you don't have no say-so in this. I play more PlayStation than you in your PlayStation channel. <laughs> oh, my God. But like I say, man, these people just, just want to bitch just to bitch. Their hatred for Nintendo, like it just, it just, it just so it, it, it amazed me, man. Because they don't. There's the reason why Nintendo has been now for a very long time. Technically, they've been now for over a hundred years. But as far as the gaming department, they've been out since the '80s. Their handheld, their handheld has been out since eight, well, 1989 with the uh, the Game Boy. Uh, the Game Boy sold over 100, what, 118 million. The Game Boy Advance, 80 something million. I think 81 million. The DS. 150 million and right now the 3ds is like around 60 or 70 million like nobody will never ever compete when it comes to nintendo's handhelds i would love for so like i said i would love for sony to compete but will they basically kill nintendo when it comes to the handhelds they might could do it with the console side but with the handhelds can they do it i i don't know no no i just i don't know it's a fact that it's never gonna happen if the beta didn't do it if the PSP didn't do it, if the Linux didn't do it, the Sega Game Gear didn't do it, the Neo Geo didn't do it, nobody never did it. So how can you how can you even spit false uh, false statements? It's not even facts. This is facts. What I'm what I'm throwing out at y'all right now. If you want to look at the sales with all these failed handhelds versus Nintendo, go ahead and Google it right now. So y'all little haters, y'all keep eating that crow. And uh, all I gotta say is, man, just shut the fuck up. Look, man. When it comes to Nintendo, I've been so hard on Nintendo. I've been freaking pit. I've been pissed off. I've been very vocal about the whole entire Wii U situation. But whenever they introduced us with the Switch, I saw first thing that came in my mind, it's going to be a shitload of JRPG. It's going to be a shitload of 3DS games coming to the Switch in HD. So this is going to this automatically tell me that we're going to get a shitload of games. So basically, when it comes to Sony... What was the games that on the Vita? We could go to the PSP. Like the software would not, you know, they didn't sell as many software as they would like to sell. They sold a lot of hardware, but everybody know about the whole entire situation with the PSP. A lot of people hacked into it. They put uh, NES, SNES emulators onto that console. So as far as profits, they didn't make as much profits as they would like to make. But Nintendo, they like, like I gotta say, man, I wanna keep on going down this road with y'all. Like just do your research before you want to just come out and 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 think that anybody can ever compete with Nintendo when it comes to their handhelds. Like when it comes to the consoles, yes, we know Sony dominates. But when it comes to handhelds, it's all about Nintendo. But when it comes to handhelds and console, in which we got our our first uh, hybrid console, it's gonna be the Switch. So I want to see Microsoft or Sony try to do something like this. I, I'm very very curious about this. So, like I say, people, y'all just give me your thoughts and your opinions on how y'all feel about these frauds in this game community. People don't even play video games. They just they automatically think that the PlayStation, you know, uh, is going to dominate Nintendo if they do their version. All I got to say is, good luck with that $300 price tag if they come out with a PlayStation Switch, a PlayStation Switch knowing that Sony is hurting for money. If they would do that, they're going to lose a lot of money. I'm just being honest about that. But like I say, give me your thoughts in the uh, comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Google Plus. And once again, it's your boy, Game 27 Y'all have a good day.